Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. This is our 10th episode for the paper 1 of UGC NET and SET examination. If you have not watched our earlier episode, you can watch it. Link for that is given in the description. And uh, please don't forget to write your comment, uh, your score in the comment section. Moving on to the questions. The question is, study of sign language is called so friends this uh, question is related to the communication study of sign language is in communication system is called semiotics and there are th five theories of the uh, studying non verbal type of communication of which space or distance uh, when it is studied in communication it is proxemics when it is about sign languages it is semiotics when it is about body language it is kinesics and when it is about touch it is haptics and when it is about time it is called chronemics so remember these five theories of uh, non verbal type of communication now moving on to the next question next question is validity and, and re reliability of a research will be at stake so they have asked uh, the validity or the authenticity of research will be in danger in which of the following condition they have asked. So we will uh, go by one by one. First is the author who is source of information is biased, incompetent and dishonest. So obviously here the authenticity of research will be at stake because he is not honest, he is not unbiased and he is not competent. So it will be at stake and in second case b the incident was reported after a long period of time from that of its occurrence so friends this is also uh, put uh, authenticity of research at stake because uh, the lot of things change because when the, it is reported in present and when it is reported in past there will be lot of difference c the researcher himself is not competent enough to draw a logical uh, conclusion so this also uh, will impact a research uh, this also impact the validity or authenticity of the research so the correct answer will be all of the above i hope you got your answer right next question the question is study of traffic signals or the traffic signals are examples of which type of communication so friends uh, in the first question we have seen the sign language study of sign language is called semiotics and here the traffic signals are also non verbal type of communication and study of uh, sign or say body language or touch or distance or space is it comes under non verbal type of communication so i hope you got it the traffic signals are example of non verbal type of communication moving on to the next question the question is in order to argument the accuracy of a study a researcher so friends uh, they have asked how can a researcher increase the accuracy of the his uh, study so option a is should increase the size of sample so friends this is correct the bigger the sample size bigger will be the accuracy should be honest and unbiased yes this is also a prerequisite for uh, accuracy of result to increase the accuracy of result should keep the variance high this is also right so the correct answer will be all of these now moving on to the next question next question is a researcher want to study future of the congress in india so for the study which tool is appropriate most appropriate for him so friends if you know the questionnaire is the most uh, where you can have the broad uh, audience or broad population uh, via questionnaire schedule interview or rating scale will not help because questionnaire you will get all the data uh, all the your doubts and it will reach to the many people more people if you share a google spreadsheet these days or via any facebook comment or anything any social media so this is the, uh, for today's time or the most appropriate of the all is questionnaire so remember this for uh, case study questionnaire is the best and moving on to the next question a field study is related to so friends field study is related to the real life situation where a researcher or any student goes in the real uh, go down the goes on the field to see the real life situation the correct uh, answer is real life situation and moving on to the next question the question is which state in india has highest number of state universities so remember highest number of state universities so uh, overall the rajasthan has more universities but uttar pradesh has highest number of state universities moving on to the next question studying 
the social status of a population a researcher concluded that mr x is socially backward so we have to judge where his conclusion is wrong right inaccurate or biased so friends here if you see from a population uh, the researcher has drawn a conclusion that mr x is socially backward this comment is inaccurate because he has not compared it with another person so if the statement is mr x is socially backward compared to y then this statement will be right but now here this is a half statement and this is inaccurate statement so mr x is socially backward if he has uh, written that mr x is socially backward with compared to y then this will be right but now this is inaccurate statement so i hope you got it right move on to the next question next question is customers coming to a mall sharing some common interest and group based activities are steadily increasing so which type of this example of which group so here this is open group because uh, anyone can come to the mall and uh, involve in those activities so this is not peer to peer where you don't need any knowledge this is not hierarchical hierarchical because anyone can come so as i said this is open group so the correct answer is open group now moving on to the next question next question is sometimes mass media misleads society because receivers are so friends here in mass media receivers are so the correct answer will be so most of you will feel that mass uh, media misleads society because receivers are illiterate so friends this is not correct because uh, there are uh, everyone uh, so for mass media like tv or radio they comes under mass media where audience is big and so their audience is heterogeneous so the correct answer is heterogeneous i hope you got it right now uh, this is the end friends if you have liked it please share subscribe to our channel global online university thank you